Today, we will talk about Import Substitution Industrialization ISI. Import substitution industrialization is a theory of economics typically adhered to by developing countries or emerging market nations. It seeks to decrease their dependence on developed countries by focusing on the protection and incubation of newly formed domestic industries so that the goods produced are competitive with imported goods. The primary goal of the implemented substitution industrialization theory is to protect, strengthen, and grow local industries using a variety of tactics, including tariffs, import quotas, and subsidized government loans. Countries implementing this theory attempt to shore up production channels for each stage of a product's development. It runs directly counter to the comparative advantage concept that occurs when countries specialize in producing goods at a lower opportunity cost and export them. ISI refers to the development economics policies of the 20th century. However, the theory itself has been advocated since the 18th century and was supported by economists such as Alexander Hamilton and Friedrich List. Countries initially implemented ISI policies in the Global South, where the intention was to develop self-sufficiency by creating an internal market within each country. ISI theory is based on a group of developmental policies, including the infant industry argument, the singer Prebisch thesis, and Keynesian economics. A critical feature is the dependent relationship that emerging countries often have with developed nations. Real-world example of import substitution industrialization The era of ISI kicked off with the creation of ECLA in 1950, with Argentine central banker Raúl Prebisch as its executive secretary. Inspired by Prebisch's call to arms, most Latin American nations went through some form of ISI in the ensuing years. Although successful in several ways, the implementation of ISI did lead to high inflation and other economic problems. When these were exacerbated by stagnation and foreign debt crises in the 1970s, many Latin American nations sought loans from the IMF and the World Bank. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Import substitution industrialization is an economic theory adhered to by developing countries that wish to decrease their dependence on developed countries. 2. ISI targets the protection and incubation of newly formed domestic industries to fully develop sectors so the goods produced are competitive with imported goods. 3. Developing countries began to reject ISI policy in the 1980s and 1990s. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.